Hi, I'm Abba Shapiro, and I want to give you my favorite keyboard shortcuts for quickly trimming in the timeline to save you time while editing. Here we have an interview with Mike Hagan, another Creative Live author, and I laid these clips in relatively fast. There's a lot at the head and the tail because I knew I would be trimming them in the timeline. And two of my favorite keys for keyboard shortcuts are the letter Q and the letter W. And what the Q and W allows me to do is, if my playhead in the timeline is at the beginning of where I want to make the edit, instead of cutting it or actually using one of the trim tools, I can simply hit the Q key. It will trim everything to the left of the playhead all the way to the beginning of the clip and go ahead and ripple that space closed. So I found where he starts talking. I can see this by the waveform. And then I'm going to go ahead to where he finishes the statement. And it's about this point. I'm aware of that. And I simply hit the W key, and it trims that down. As you can see, I can very quickly go through either looking at the waveform, hitting Q to cut off everything to the left of the playhead, and W to cut off everything to the right of the playhead, a very quick way to cut down interview sound bites without having to mark any ins and outs or deleting anything, all with one keyboard shortcut. There's a lot of times that I just want to remove a chunk of a piece of video, and instead of going through hitting multiple keystrokes, marking an in, marking an out, selecting it, deleting it, closing the gap, I can actually do what's called an extract edit. And to complement this, there's also the lift edit. To do this, you need to mark an in point and an out point in your timeline to select the region that you want to remove. And now all I have to do is go over here and hit one of these buttons, which is lift and extract. The truth is I won't hit one of these buttons. The keystrokes that you will be using are the semicolon and the apostrophe key. If I go ahead and have this selected and I click on the semicolon, it actually lifts that part of the clip out of my timeline, and I can go ahead and either drop something else in or close the space. I'm going to hit undo, Command-Z or Control-Z on a Windows machine, and instead of just doing a lift, I'm going to do an extract, and that's the apostrophe key. So all I have to do is hit the apostrophe. It removes that chunk and closes the space. Let me do that very quickly again. I mark the area that I want to remove in and out and I hit the apostrophe key. Now, the beautiful thing about this shortcut is I can do this across multiple clips in my timeline. So if there's an entire chunk that I want to remove, I can go ahead, mark an in point using the I key, mark an out point using the O key, and all I need to do is press apostrophe. It lifts that chunk out, closes up the space, and tightens up my show. If you want to learn more, please join us in Adobe Premiere Pro CC Video Editing, the complete guide with me, Abba Shapiro.